I worked till two weeks before uh, I gave birth. I had met my husband-to-be, Jerry Tubin, during the time of Nightbeat. He was a big fan of the show. And actually, we met because I was trying to book Leopold Stokowski, who uh, Jerry was managing a symphony orchestra. Stokey was the uh, conductor. But um, he apparently, when, when uh, this was proposed to Stokey, which is always how he was referred to, he looked, he made the mistake of watching the program and said he would not think of appearing. But in the meantime, one of the writers who was spending a lot of time with Jerry and trying to f work this stuff out, uh, we were all single at that time, came back to me and said, I think there's somebody that you should meet. And uh, let me, so we started talking on the phone and got acquainted. And he invited me to some concerts and so forth. So that's how I met him. And, and we got married. Um, about three months after we met. And then once, once you um, delivered your son, did you, continue, did you want to continue to work? Oh, I definitely wanted to continue, but what had happened was that the management at WNEW-TV had changed again, I think it's several times. And the new people were not so interested in all these really interesting uh, live programs we were doing. And there was nothing there for me. But in the course of my last six months there, I had been working with WNEW Radio. Now, wait a minute. Uh, yeah, uh, we were doing some kind of cross, uh, some kind of uh, collaborative newscast. And I got to know those people. So um, they offered me a job, but I'm getting the order mixed up because I think after Jeff was born, which was the end of May, and I was trying to figure out, A, what to do about a job, and B, how do I, what, how do I deal with a baby? I mean, I thought, oh my god, how, wh what do you do here? <laughs> I was not the most maternal person. And I, I thought, well, let's see how it is in the beginning. So after six weeks of being home, and I had a very good-natured child. He's a good-natured adult, but he was always good-natured and easy. I thought, I can't do this alone. I mean, this is not, this is fine, but that's not enough for me. Uh-uh-uh. I'm going to figure out how to get back to work. Now, the problem was my husband was earning a very little money with the Symphony of the Air. Um, and I was fortunately getting uh, unemployment which was, at that time, a big $50 a week. And you had to go and collect it. Um, so I started looking for a, a housekeeper that would work part-time. And I, through an agency, found somebody, great Haitian woman, and I said, look, I'm looking for a job full-time. But in the meantime, I'm going to give you my full unemployment for part-time while I look for a job. <clears throat> well, I got something part-time for uh, uh, the disease, doing press releases for a short time. Uh, but by the fall, I had found a job um, on a show called PM East. By Westing Westinghouse Broadcasting was going to do a late night television show hosted by, guess who, Mike Wallace, with uh, Joyce Davidson, a Canadian uh, interviewer of some note. Anyway, I'm hired as a writer producer and uh, go to work full time by January. Jeff's born in May, take the summer off, part-time in the fall. By January, I'm back at work full-time and thereafter forever full-time.